Hi everyone, SD Mountain Man. Fired at Friday. Say, uh, also along with that, oh, don't mind me swatting the things you can't see. Uh, they're here, they're bugging me. The doggone gnats followed me from camping this weekend, I swear. Um, and then, oh, I got ants on this table too, all of a sudden. I gotta do some spraying tomorrow. But anyway, the BPS Savage, tell you what, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, the only thing I found um, just right now, I hadn't done a lot this weekend, but since I'm doing Fire Friday, I feel like I can strike a fair rod. We're going to break up the big beast and do that. Um, the only thing I found is uh, when I'm doing these curls, this edge is kind of sharpening. It's kind of making a sore spot in my finger right there. Uh, the only other thing is, is I'll bring it closer. If somebody zoom me in, I don't know. Um, you look there, that thing's real. It, get, it comes down real thin. If you were to like jab and, I mean, I don't know. Whatever, do something like that. Uh, you might have problems with it, might bend, I don't know. But uh, last weekend camping, uh, I used the bejeebies out of it, my wife did. The wife struck the ferro rod like a, <laughs> a mad woman. <laughs> Just, uh, we practiced fire skills. Uh, I did uh, solar chaga and uh, had the neighbors, I was blowing it into flames with fine needles. And I had the neighbors over next door like, what, what's that guy doing? He's like, oh, making that thing smoke. It was kind of funny. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this, uh, it, it really, I tell you what, um, other than a couple little flaws that I see, I said, just, I, I can take and buff that off to make it so it don't hurt my finger. But there's this little chunk of fat wood. I mean, for crying out loud. And I've, I've done a bunch of curls in here. That's getting down to the thin end. You know, pretty good feather sticking. Um, this is a big hunk. I don't know if this is one I got from Shalisa Shell. Where that came from, that's a pretty good sized chunk. I don't think that's any money. Uh, I don't know, maybe it is. It's got a little bacon show in there. Right on my eyelid. I mean, I don't know, the doggone thing, like I said, we've knocked the snot out of it this weekend. And uh, and I had, I've, I've had it for a while. Uh, but this weekend I took it camping and, and I mean, from cutting potatoes, doing this, doing that. Yeah, this is a chunk of, what I found in the campground, picked it up, was like, that that might have a little fat capacity to it, and I can smell it, but it's not, you know, it's not real, real rich, but just again, just a little demonstration. Yeah. I'm, I don't know, the only, like I said, other than that little, you know, being narrow, if you're careful with it, no big deal. The sharpness, the biggest thing I got is, it's the same... Hush! <laughs> Duckgun guineas. It don't, I mean that, of course, I got shoulder problems. I mean, I guess I can, it's kind of, it's not in there very far. It's the same sheath, I can't remember what the other one was I got, the last one I put a patina on. But, uh, I just, I think it, I don't think it needs its own sheath or a little something different. And I don't know, maybe over time or maybe my shoulder gets better. Uh, things will get better. It just, I don't know, right there ain't bad. But then it should have been shorter or something. It's just kind of, I don't know. There's something goofy about that. So anyway, let's uh, let's fire this up. The next knife I got, it's uh, like a, I think it's an Ontario found. I believe it's Ontario, uh, like a chef's, folding chef's knife. Uh, Satanko, or I don't know how you say that word, I guess, but like a Satanko brand or a style uh, kitchen knife. I really want to get a little canvas, canvas or tool, tool roll thing uh, to put my, you know, you know, if I even make a little wooden spatula or something, I get back where I can use my arm better. This, just, just to do this here, my elbow and my shoulder's feeling it. But uh, yeah, look, a tool roll for a spatula. Um, if I make a spoon, that knife, I got a open L, you know, stainless steel open L for stuff like that for, you know, Cutting up onions and stuff. Of 
course, this ain't been used well, so there's a lot of... A lot of grit on the outside right there. There we go. Takes a little bit to get that wore off before you get it going. Anyway, yeah, fired at Fatwood Friday, everybody. SD Mountain Man, uh, back at it. Hopefully, for now on, um, therapy's going good. He really worked me yesterday. I, I got a stick. They put on my between my hands to help this hand help this one go up over my arm, and that's about as far as I can reach right now. But uh, yesterday, they put a five pound weight on there, and I was like, oh. <laughs> the rest of the day I could feel it so anyway that's it for me uh, fired at Fatwood Friday everybody appreciate you watching um, next knife thing like I said that Ontario knife and uh, oh I got that Saker Saker uh, buffer polisher coming up too uh, I don't know a bunch of other like little reviews of different things I bought and stuff like that so anyway that's it take care everybody SD Mount Man out